on. Excellent. So to find the equation of a straight line, I'm just going to go line. We need the slope and we need the point. Now you don't have to write down any of this because it should already be in your books. Okay. If it's not, then by all means, copy it down. So slope, if I had, I don't know, I'm going to go three sevenths and the point four negative two. Who remembers what we do? You go, you go, you go, she goes, she goes, she goes, she just goes. Yeah, Maxie? We. Um, <clears throat> sorry, you do like a cross multiply. Thing, Excellent. Do and we start, the whole thing to get the cross multiply is we're basically subbing into the slope formula, the gradient formula. Are we listening, kids? Yep. So three sevenths equals y take negative two. So that becomes plus two. And then we have x take four. It's at this point that Maxie said, absolutely. Yet yeah, now we have to, good, cross multiply. We'll just wait. Are your tens up? So we now cross multiply. Are you at the point when you can just say, yes, I'm multiplying all of this. So I'm leaving out my bracket stage. If you still go, oh, I forget, I forget. I then include the brackets. Okay, seven y plus 14. At this point, you make a decision. You either read the question, and if the question has said, put it in y-intercept form, what will you do? What does that mean, though, put it in y-intercept form, Eugene? Mia? Y equals mx plus c, so getting, it, getting y by itself. So I would start by saying 3x. Okay, the 14 has to come over, so that's now going to be minus 26 equals 7y, correct? And how do I get rid of that time 7? Divide by 7. So it's going to be therefore y equals 3 sevenths x take 26 over 7. Yeah? If I wanted to put it in general form or the question asked me to put it in general form, then I have to have 3x take 7y. That goes on the other side and it is... 26. So know the difference, correct? If it didn't say y-intercept or general, then you choose. You do whatever you want. Agreed? Agreed. It will go up a notch and it will now say, find the equation of the line that passes through. So it passes through five minus one and Two, six. So I'm now saying, find the equation of line that passes through these two points. We go back to the origi dig. What two things do we need to find the equation of a line? Slope and a point. I don't have a slope. If only there was some way that I could find. If only there was some way that I could find the slope. Given two points. What did you say? There is. How am I meant to do that? Rise over what run. So we're going to go minus one, take six, five, take two. And so we get minus seven over three. Was that our one up the top? I swear I just made that up. No. Oh. Oh, three over seven. Well, there you go. Minus seven over three. Now, which point are you going to use? It doesn't matter. Right? You could, left-hand side of the class could use this point, and the other could use that, and you would get the same answer. Do I have to finish that? You sure? Let's do it just in case. I know you said no, Eugene, but I just feel like I have to. Okay? With a minus... Give the minus to one of those numbers, either the 7 or the 3. Equals. I'm going to go with this one. Everything's positive. Y take 6. X take 2. We cross multiply. Minus times a minus. What do we want? General? Y intercept. 
I heard y intercept first, sorry. So that means I'm going to go minus 7x. I mean, I wouldn't go y intercept anyway. I'm a bit y intercept is uh, 10, 20, 32 equals 3y. And therefore, and just to mix it up a little bit, I'm going to say minus 7x plus 32 all over 3. I could have divided each one by 3, but yeah. Oh, look at that. I could slow it down a little bit. Still got two minutes, Rowan. Two minutes. Because you go, this is sweet. All good, all good, all good. And the evil little person on my shoulder kicks in and goes, hmm. Let's ask them to do the same thing, but change it just a tad. So what would you do? No one needs this. I mean, I will save it for you if you want it. We all good? I will put it on. I mean, I'm videoing it, but I will also put it on. Oh, well, is? <laughs> we'll find the equation of the line. I'm sick and tired of writing it over and over again, right? Find the equation of the line that has slope perpendicular, perpendicular to three sevenths, and pass us through the point two four. So, what would you do? Go, Gus. Yep. What's the key here? Right, the key was the perpendicular, but I hear what you're saying. You're going to then flip and reverse the sign. So your slope will then be minus 7 over 3. You've got your point. Boom, boom. Do the same thing. Okay, smarty pantsers. What if I did this? So find the equation of the line that is... So find the equation line that's parallel to y equals 3x plus 4 and passes through 2 minus 1. What would you do then? Correct. Does everyone get that? So again, comes back to ask yourself. You're being asked to find the equation of the line. So you should then be asking, well, what do I need to find the equation of a line? I need slope and a point. Points covered. But how are you meant to get your slope? So Dan, that's when we go, ooh, when it's in the form, y equals mx plus c, that there, there, is the slope. So those of you who had me last year, you should know the evil lives on. Find the equation of the line. That is, hmm, instead of parallel, let's go perp. Two, anyone have an idea what I'm going to do now? Gave it to you like this. Put it in the other form. And passes through three minus eight. What would we do now? You're being asked the same thing. Equation of a line. You still need slope and a point. How are you meant to get the slope from that? Pardon? The slope is still three. Do we agree with that, ladies and gentlemen? We've got some shaking of the heads. Why? How do we find the slope from an equation? There's the key. Can you get y by itself? Now, a lot of you are trying to do it all at once, one step at a time. So let's get 5y by itself first. So the 3x goes on the other side. It becomes minus 3x. And I don't even have to do anything more at this point in time. I'm going to go, the slope, therefore, is minus 3 over 5 because it has, it has to be y equals to get. The more that you play around with these, the more that Grace might be able to go, oh, when, I, when it's written like this, I can see it's always going to be negative three-fifths. If that was a negative here, it's going to be positive three-fifths. You will see patterns the more that you do. Yeah? But if you forget, as you're likely to do, especially when you get to my age, 
The one thing I remember is when it's in the form y equals mx plus c, m is my slope. Okay, okay? All right. Oh, look, I was doing so much good time, and now I'm two minutes over. Dan, you were asking before how we meant to do all of this with our... Oh, oh, with our um, diagram. Oh, I'd already up there. What you are doing is from your diagram, you should be able to get two points. Do we agree? Uh -huh. And if you don't understand, I'll come and show you. It's probably better with my diagram. But you'll be able to get your two points. You'll be able to find your equation and type it into Desmos. Do we remember how to limit the line? The curly-whirly brackets, that's right. Okay, So if we go, it has to be in between 2 and 7. That will limit your x values for 2 and 7. It's got to be the curly brackets. Some people have said to me already, oh, I did it all and it didn't save. So remember, log in, do one equation, put one thing in, save it. See if you can close it and then open it again before you do everything. That's just basic 101. So what would I ask you to do? You've got your diagram to finish. And could you please... Make sure we did number two in class. We did three ACE. Now, I think question four, that's your diagram. You've got two points in a way, finding the slope and get the equation. Yes? So, oh, equation of vertical lines, horizontal. So I'd like you to then, if you've done your diagram, if you didn't, then you're doing five and, uh, six and seven, five, six, seven. Okay? Do your thing.